Hi right, everyone, welcome to the channel. I want to show you a very quick video on how to install Thunder Flash's fantastic car mod pack into AMS2 using the Content Manager. Now, if you haven't got Content Manager installed, go check out this link up here. This will tell you how to install it and how to use the application and how to install Project Modding Team's cars into the game using that application. So we're going to do Thunder Flash's, so let's jump into it. He's made it super easy. Let's do it. Now you need to come to the website mmodding3.net. I'll leave a link down below somewhere on the screen and in the description as well. So once you're on that website, you're gonna to want to come to the download folder. Now once you're in the download folder, you want to select the 3.0 AMS2CM. Make sure it is the CM version and not the JSGME. So click on this one right here and it should take you to Medify and start downloading it. So I've already got it downloaded, so I'm gonna come out of that and I'm gonna jump into my downloads folder. So find your downloads folder and we'll go from there. Now once you're in your downloads folder, you're going to want to extract that file. So find the file that you've downloaded. I've got 7-zip, you might have WinRAR or WinZip, so extract it whatever way you prefer. I'm gonna come here, show more options because I'm on Windows 11. I'm gonna come down to 7-zip and extract this into a folder, as you see here. I've already got the folders you can see on the screen, so I'm just gonna overwrite it quickly. And what you should see inside of there is a mods folder and inside of there you should see enabled and you should also see AMS2CM. AMS2CM is the application that you're going to use to install the mods. So come back and you want to literally drag this mods folder onto your desktop. I've already done it, so I'm gonna put it there and pretend that I've done it. So whoosh, there you go, mods folder. So now what you want to do is find where your Automobilista 2 is installed. So I'm gonna go to Crucial, because mine's on my F drive, yours might be on your C drive. I'm gonna go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, common Automobilista 2 and in here if you've not installed mods before there won't be any folder called mods if you've had mods previously from JSGME I recommend uninstalling those because you can use this application to install the project mod in teams cars as well so all I'm going to do I'm going to drag the mods folder into the Automobilista 2 game directory again I've already got them installed so I'm not going to overwrite it now once that's installed find where you've dropped that in there click on the mods folder that you've just dragged in there and in there you'll see the enabled and you'll see the AMS2CM. Click on the AMSC2CM, uh, sorry. Then click on the EXE file inside, which is the AMS2CM.exe. Click on this one. And mine's going to be uninstalling because I've already got them installed. But you'll see now, you, yours should start from here installing mods. And it should carry on. Now if you've got Project Modding Teams cars in the game and you've installed it via JSGME, I would recommend verifying your game through Steam so it gets rid of literally a clean slate, gives you a brand new game, and all those files that you downloaded from Project Modding Team's website, you want to put into the enabled folder. This will then use this application to install them and all together using both of these mod packs. So once that's done, click on enter and then you should stop. So if we go into the game now, I'll boot it up and I'll show you the cars that are installed. Now in the game, go to single race and you should start seeing the mod packs in there. So you're gonna have these two at the top, which is the 80 supercars, two variants. I think one is a track day, one is the non-track day version. So you've got these ones. The track day version cars have better brakes and literally better tires and just overall a bit more grippy in terms of driving. But all these cars perform super, super well. Now, if you scroll down as well, you'll, you'll find the Ferrari 355 Challenge, the Ferrari 488 as well, two great cars. This is one of my favorite packs, the FIA GT1. Again, you've got cars like the Chevrolet Corvette, Aston Martin DB9, the Ford Matek Ford GT1. You've got the Nissan GTR GT1. You've got the Maserati MC12. And my favorite car, the Lamborghini Merchilogo RSV GT1 as well. Now, scrolling down a bit further, you'll find the Group 5s. These are loved by many people. These are really fantastic cars as well. Take a little bit more skill to drive and practice, but if you're really good at sim driving, you'll enjoy these massively. I'm not very good at sim driving. Uh, I struggle with these but they are still great fun nevertheless but you've got the Datsun 280ZX you've got the 320 Turbo Porsche 935 from 1977, Porsche 935 from 1980. Then you've got the Nissan Skyline Super Silhouette, which has massive amounts of boost, which is really, really crazy to drive. And you've got the beautiful Ford Capri Group 5 as well. I love that car. It looks super, super nice. Now, if you scroll down a little bit further, you're going to find some GT3 classes. So in here, you've got different skins for these cars. You've got the Porsche 911 GT3, Bentley Continental, GTR Nismo GT3. You've got the M6 GT3. You've got the Audi R8 LMS. And down here, which is the Z4 GT3, which is absolutely fantastic. That's one of my favorite GT3 cars in here. In the further down, you've got, again, you've got a different GT Masters pack. Again, same cars, kind of different skins on them. And again, you've got the Spa alteration as well. So you've got like the Mercedes, you've got the Ferrari 488 GT3 as well. You've got the GTR Nismo GT3 with a nice body kit. It looks absolutely fantastic. 
Scrolling down further into the menu, you've, you've got the Lamborghini Huracan LP620 Super Trofeo. Absolute animal, beast to drive, fantastic nevertheless. You've also got track day B cars, which is the KTM Expo. And at the bottom there, you've got the KTM Expo Cup, which is, again, another great car to drive. All these cars and all these mods from Frederick are absolutely mind-blowing. I'm going to promise you now, you're going to absolutely love them. And you can combine them with the Project Modding Teams mod. So yeah, drag those Project Team modding files into the same enabled folder will allow you to install all of them together using that cm.exe app. Guys, I hope you found it helpful. I've had to redo this video because I've done it last week in a different process, but he's made it a lot easier, Frederick. So you have to give him a big thumbs up and a big thank you. Go subscribe to his channel as well. And uh, yeah, enjoy these mods because they are absolutely brilliant. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.